this. The last poll out of Wisconsin showed Bernie Sanders with an eight-point lead. If he wins in Wisconsin, he's certainly got momentum in New York, where he's also closing the gap with Hillary. Look who is here. The man who always smiles, <laughs> Harley Littman, raises money for Hillary Clinton, and he is a New Yorker. Now... Hillary is doing great. You're not worried about Hillary in New York? Not at all. Two and a half million more people have voted for Hillary than Bernie so far. Mm -hmm. And even if she doesn't do so well in Wisconsin, remember, against Obama, she lost by 17 points. So even if she loses in Wisconsin by a few points, she's still way ahead. But uh, momentum. If, if Bernie wins Wisconsin, even by a couple of points, I don't know, but, but he, you know, he might win by four, five, six points. If he wins like that, that gives him enormous momentum coming into New York. She has an York. insurmountable lead. In the delegates, yes. But talk about momentum. And there's always that, uh, the investigation hanging over her, which could really seriously disrupt the convention. The next few primaries are closed, which means it's only registered Democrats that can vote. And historically, that means she wins by double digit. She's well ahead, Pennsylvania, California, New Jersey, New York. Even when she ran against Obama in 2008, when she had a surge and she won a lot of those states, she won Texas, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. yep. it was, she couldn't catch up to Obama. So Bernie cannot catch up to Hillary. So to you, it's just a delegate count. That's right. Yeah. And, and Hillary's well ahead. Yes, uh, uh, you're probably right. You, I, I can see how Hillary is the likely nominee. But you know, an awful lot of Bernie voters will not vote for Hillary Clinton. They'll stay home. I so disagree with you. So she's kind of wounded in They the will election. vote for her. They will not want a Republican to win the presidency. All, all of Bernie's voters would just straight across the aisle. They'd Pretty go straight much. to Hillary. I think so. Really? Yeah, I think so. How about the Brooklyn debate? I believe it's booked for April the 14th. That's friendly territory to Bernie, isn't it? She'll do very well. She's been a senator in yeah, New York for eight years. You can't just say, Bernie oh, hasn't been in New York yeah. since he was born so in Brooklyn. You will not <laughs> admit to the slightest element of doubt here. This is not 2008. No, no, this is 2016. She's winning. No Hillary doubt whatsoever. is not taking any vote for granted. She's working it really hard, but I think she's going to do great. She's well ahead. And... Bernie supporters are going to line up behind Hillary at the end of the day. <laughs> they don't want a Republican to be elected, that's, that's why. One of the most optimistic points of view that I've ever heard. Contrarian view, will you watch? Let's see what happens. <laughs> that's contrarian. Hold me accountable. That's down the line Democrat. <laughs> Come on, that's not contrarian. Well, look at this, look how well she's doing. Yeah, look. <laughs> <laughs> Holly Lippman, always a pleasure. And, you're and Wisconsin is a very progressive state, very friendly to Bernie. Right. So is the New York. The other states have a lot of minorities, so like New, New York. York. New York. Progressive state. Right. All right. Uh, we'll agree to differ, as usual. Okay. All right. Thanks very much, folks. 11. All right. My Senator. Pleasure.